happy thanks to his great devotion. It is February the 16th, the day of the shining star, the day of birth of Kim Jong-il, the great leader of the Korean people. On the greatest holiday of the nation, the people across the country are happy. People sing a February holiday on the luxurious stage of the People's Theater in the Mansude area, the heart of the capital city Pyongyang. The people are all cheerful and optimistic everywhere. In the high-rise apartment houses, excellent children's department store, and other commercial and welfare service facilities in the Changjun Street, the Rumna Dolphinarium, the Ryukyung Health Complex, and the people's open-air ice rink. The people are also optimistic in the cozy modern houses in Samjian County, Diangang Province in the northern part, and in Dongbongni, Hamzhu County, South Hamgyong Province, the Migo Cooperative Farm in Sadiwan City, and Pomani in Sohun County, North Hwangi Province, and all other parts of the country. get happier, the Korean people warmly recall the life of the great Kim Jong-il, who made them happy, a life run through with his love for the people. General Kim Jong-il has brought us up. As father of the large family of the country, he has made all efforts without taking a comfortable rest even a day. Thank you. Thank you, Father General. Father Kim Jong-il devoted his whole life to make the people happiest in the world. His footprints of devotion, printed in all parts of the country, vast fields, factories, power stations and mines, fill the eyes of the people with tears. Che Chong Su, manager of the Kosan Fruit Farm, says, Our farmer, the fatherly Kim Jong-il visited our fruit farm in June 2011. He was very unwell that day because he had come without having time to relieve his fatigue pent up during his distant foreign visit. Recalling that day, we now feel guilty. He was very pleased saying our fruit farm had changed beyond recognition. His bright smile is still vivid in my eyes. Kim Kwang Su, workshop manager of the Wonsan Glass Bottle Factory, says, We earnestly requested him not to enter the rough workshop, but he stepped in without hesitation. Seeing us working, he praised us repeatedly, saying we were doing important work. He was satisfied to see us produce goods necessary for people's living with locally available raw materials. How nice it would be if we could meet him again at this safe and clean workshop. The vast fruit farms in different parts of the country and fragrance of apples there form and the consumer goods produced at big and small local industry factories are all fruits of the devoted efforts of the great Kim Jong-il. Korean poets recited. His clothes for field guidance were wet with sweat 
under the scorching sun. But Kim Jong Il had no time to cool himself even before the fresh waterfall. He could not take a nap comfortably even in the running car for field guidance. He was exposed to cold rain and snow so much that in a family that moved to the new house, he said smilingly, "I feel like living here even for a few days." Hearing him, all people burst into tears. His sons and daughters lamented, but without having space to relieve fatigue, he continued his march along the rugged road through a snowstorm. The great Kim Jong Il continued his field guidance to the last day of his life for the welfare of the people, covering more than 669,000. 844 kilometers, tantamount to nearly 17 rounds of the Earth, and visiting over 14,290 units. His ardent devotion was based on his warmest love for the people. He wrote the history of the love for the people as he regarded the people as his goal, and hugged them in his heart. Great exploits, as vast as the sea and as high as the sky, are resolved into the people. Thanks to Kim Jong Il, who devoted his all only to the people throughout his life, the people on this land are becoming happier day by day.